Hi, I'm Stan Yan. Here's a cover cover preview of my picture book in production, There's a Zombie in the Basement, inspired by my son's fear of my zombie artwork. Mommy, Daddy, I need you, please. Now, Milo, dear, what can it be? If you don't sleep, we'll all be tired. I'll be late to work, maybe get fired. Now close your eyes and count some sheep. You really ought to go to sleep. I cannot sleep. My sheep are spent, cause there's a zombie in the basement. Well, rest assured you're not thinking clear. A zombie is really nothing to fear. There's no such thing. You should be in bed. A movie has planted a Z in your head. Yes, perhaps I stayed up late. Or might it be the sweets I ate? Try as I might to shut my eyes tight, I'm getting scared of some sounds in the night. A creak? A squeak? A big giant beak? Eight creepy legs? A circus freak? A bloodthirsty ghost? A dark-hooded reaper? An overweight centaur on daddy's car creeper? Mommy! Daddy! Come fast if you could. What is it now? It better be good. The zombie, her tapeworm, and all of her crew. They're coming to get me. I fear that I'm through. A vampire is laughing. They dance on the stairs. They'll use safety scissors and cut off my hair. You're just being silly. You know it's not true. Your scissors are sitting right next to your glue. Now get back to sleep. I'll tuck you right in. Our patience with you is wearing quite thin. My folks don't believe me, and rightfully so. My mind is quite active in the tantrums I throw. If I don't doze off, my eyes will be shot, and I'll be sent off to Principal Scott. I know they're not real, or so it is said. Or maybe Sasquatch will sit on my head! Or juggling sharks, or evil twins, the nape of my neck feels needles and pins. Or are they just pulling the hairs on my arm? Or will they dissect me like cows on the farm? Mommy! Daddy! What is it this time? A pink-colored pony riding a mime? Yes, that's what I fear is coming this time. A zombie, Sasquatch, and even a mime. The centaur is friends with the pink-colored pony. They all need a friend. Sometimes they get lonely. The juggling sharks, the twins are just sad. The zombies, their mom. The vampires, their dad. And they went to the circus to watch Lady Spider on the trapeze and drink alien cider. All those things that you hear are no longer so creepy. Their party is ending. Everyone's getting sleepy. Now doze off, no counting, not even a peep. Reaper and ghost will take care of your sheep. All things that you fear can really be friends, because it's all what you make in your mind at the end. Yes, I foolishly read you the whole story, but I have enough faith and trust that you liked it enough to want to find out how to get a copy. A little bit about me. I've been doing zombie characters for about nine years at comic book conventions and events. About a year and a half ago, my then three-year-old son wouldn't come down to my basement studio. When my wife asked him why not, he said he was scared. And when he, she asked uh, what he was scared of, he pointed all of my zombie artwork hanging from the walls. With this inspiration, I wrote the manuscript for the story over the next hour, and I've been working on tweaking the rhyme and meter, the art, learning about the picture book industry, and publisher and agent submissions ever since. With some very encouraging rejection letters under my belt, I'm happy to announce the self-publication of this book with your help. The rewards range from a $5 digital copy of the book, and for another 5 bucks, I'll send you a signed limited edition postcard. At $25, you will receive a signed limited edition hardcover of the book. And add 20 more bucks for this Zombie Girl t-shirt in men's, women's, youth, or toddler cuts. For $60, get this Zombie Girl doll from Bitten Designs along with your signed book, postcard, and ebook. The $55 reward level is the basic sketch level, which would be something like a black and white zombie character of you or a loved one drawn into the end sheets of the book. Alternately, I could draw you as My Little Pony style pony, or any other type of black and white sketch you could think of. 
If you'd rather your zombies or sketches be in full color, just add another $20. And add a subject to any of your sketches for just $25 more. I have retailer and library reward levels that start at $75 for 10 signed or unsigned books. There are also charitable levels where you can donate books to your favorite library, school, preschool, or shelter, where you listen to the book's donor book plate, ranging from the $65 philanthropist level, where I will donate two additional books on your behalf, up to the hero level of $1,000, where you get the signed book with the color sketch, the signed postcard, a t-shirt, a doll, along with additional 25 signed books donated in your name, which I'll deliver in person to the location where I will conduct a dramatic reading and a monster drawing workshop. Finally, I can make your pet a star. I'll make your favorite pet a character and draw your pet into the book as many as 14 times, including possibly on the cover. You will receive all study sketches, finished artwork, and a custom color sketch of your pet in the end sheets of your signed book. And, like on the hero level, you will also receive the signed postcard, t-shirt, and a doll. My low initial goal is just $3,000, which goes to cover the printing of the first 250 copies of the book, rewards, and estimated campaign and transaction fees. For those of you who backed my first campaign, as you know, if we exceed our goal, you know I will have some great incentives planned for each stretch goal that we pass, not to mention all of the campaign updates, which may again include some free art tutorials. So make sure to spread the word. Please, please, please share this on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, or wherever you socialize, and I will make it worth your while. Thanks.